there's nowhere to hide unless you move the out of space. space. Some say that I hallucinate these men in black suits, but they don't want to know the truth about the Freemasons' pursuits. Illuminati summon human bodies to the Martians. They fake Bruce Lee's death so we can train alien Spartans. <laughs> What we just saw was the TARDIS, Doctor Who's time machine going through a wormhole, a vortex, a stargate. Researchers like William Henry points out that the concentric circle design, the bullseye design, is a two-dimensional representation of the three-dimensional stargate phenomenon. The stargate, a circular motif, usually associated with radiating light. A water door, sometimes also called an eye. Oh. Fantastic. That was a scene from the pilot episode of the newest incarnation of Doctor Who. Compare the shape of the London Eye to some of the symbols or seals of the Rosicrucians. The London Eye in this particular episode of Doctor Who is an alien transmitter. Synchromistically, we have now connected the London Eye through this Doctor Who episode to aliens and the concept of the Stargate. We can also see the similarity between the design of the London Eye and secret society symbols like those shown of the Rosicrucians. One of the most revered and respected figures in the Rosicrucian order is Pharaoh Akhenaten. Notice his almond-shaped gray-like eyes on the cover of this National Geographic. Here we see some images of Akhenaten or Amenhotep the Fourth from Rosicrucian manuals and magazines. Many see these strange wall carvings of Akhenaten and his family with elongated craniums and limbs as proof of Akhenaten's alien involvement. Did Akhenaten carry alien DNA in his blood himself? Or did he merely model himself after what he believed his alien creator god looked like? The grey type alien from science fiction films. Did Amenhotep IV have secret knowledge about our forefathers? Did Pharaoh Akhenaten have access to working Stargate technology? Or was he merely wise as to the secrets of cosmic illumination? The fully activated and realized chakra pillar. Is there a difference between this and the Stargate? Perhaps these secrets have been passed down through the ages to its current custodians in the secret societies like the Rosicrucian Order. I would interpret this particular image as a stargate. We have this circular door motif. We have the stars. We have the ladder ascending into the heavens. It's a stargate. I believe 9-11 was part of a ritual to open a stargate or contact our alien creator gods. A secret society orchestrated mega ritual that invoked the pyramids of Giza. See part one for more details. Remember that ideas like the Stargate and contacting alien creator gods can also be viewed as metaphors for higher consciousness or cosmic illumination, the contacting of the god inside. The method that I use to explore these themes on my blog is called synchromysticism. I define it as the art of finding meaningful coincidence in the seemingly mundane with mystical or esoteric significance. I do not believe that secret societies control things. I believe that they exert massive influence, but that is all. They, like us, are part of the one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively, like Bill Hicks used to say. Their footprint will be necessarily seen in major world events like 9-11 until we assert our connection with the divine for ourselves.
that was the Spider-Man 1 teaser trailer from 2001 that was pulled after the Twin Tower disaster. First, we have to note who is bringing us this film. It's Columbia, or Isis, with her illuminating torch. Spider-Man's giant web in between the towers forms the concentric circle bullseye design, reminiscent of the Stargate. The sun, our eastern star, is seen illuminating the space between the two towers. Synchromistically, we can now amazingly see a stargate with the illuminating light of a star coming right through it in between the two towers. Here we can see the two towers which have been connected to Boaz and Jacob of the Freemasons and which I have connected to the pyramids in the eye of Spider-Man on the poster for the first Spider-Man film. Remember that stargates are connected to the term eye. Think of third eye. Think of London Eye. This is a photo taken from New Year's. It's a solstice celebration. The masses venerating the Stargate, the solar symbol of the London Eye. Here we see another web emanating from the third eye and the star in Stalin's cap on the cover of a Time magazine. The opening of the third eye being represented by the concentric circle design of the web. By finding synchronicities in Doctor Who and Spider-Man, we have discovered much about the Stargate ritual of 9-11. The Doctor Who episode that started this synchromistic investigation has another coincidence connecting it to a so-called terror attack, this time the 7-7 bombings of London. Notice the eerie symmetry between the previous photo and this scene from Doctor Who. Remember that this scene of chaos was caused by aliens in the show, just as I believe these terror attacks are connected to alien intentions. The new Spider-Man film also has the theme of the open third eye expressed on its poster. We see the radiating light of higher consciousness coming from Spider-Man's forehead behind the three echoing the third eye chakra. Again we saw the theme of Two Towers expressed in the Two Towers film, the second installment in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Fascinating to see how it's repeated over and over, the circular doorway or eye of the Stargate connected to the Two Towers. Here's another interesting bit of synchromysticism. We can tie the themes of Spider-Man, the London Eye, and 9-11 all back together in one news article. We can read here that on the 11th of September 2004, a man dressed as Spider-Man, protesting, climbed the London Eye. In my personal opinion, these synchronicities show to us how the universe plays with itself and tries to send us messages embedded in the very fabric of everything if we just look from a certain perspective. I believe if we open our minds to the ebb and flow of coincidence around us we can learn much valuable information about the world we inhabit. If you would like to learn more about the 9-11 mega stargate ritual and other amazing synchronicities check out my blog at the brave new world order blogspot.com Thank you. They killed Kennedy, Biggie, two o'clock a day thinking. They planned the Titanic sinking. They killed Marvin Gaye for thinking. They killed Versace. Cancel Jody loves Chachi. Killed Prince and Stein framed the paparazzi. It's all an evil plan written by the Illuminati. Long before Adolf Hitler.